Hi students, I want to practice today with some idioms for food that are very common in spoken American English. Um, I think that these are all fun ways to improve your fluent English speaking. Um, these are things that people who are born in the United States and speak English from, from birth until they grow up, these are very common to Native American English speakers. Um, as always, leave me questions in the comments. Um, ask me about any n different idioms that you are curious about. And let's jump into this quick practice with these food idioms in American English. The first idiom for us to talk about is don't cry over spilled milk. Don't cry over spilled milk. And this is a phrase that is used to um, give comfort to somebody who is unhappy about something that happened. And this phrase gives a feeling of you can't change the past. The milk is out of the cup. You cannot put the milk back into the cup. Don't cry about something you cannot change from the past. Don't cry over spilled milk. I might say this to somebody who is complaining. They are unhappy about something that happened at their job last week. And I say, you can't change it. Don't cry over spilled milk. Our second idiom today is the phrase um, bananas and the phrase nuts. These two foods are often used as an equal comparison to crazy. Um, many people, especially younger speakers of American English, will say, you are driving me bananas. You are driving me nuts. You are making me bananas. You are making me nuts. And both of these phrases, all of these phrases are used for a feeling of crazy. Why the food of banana or the food of nuts? I don't know. Um, but it's very common to hear somebody use the word bananas or the word nuts in place of crazy. Our third idiom has to do with the word butter. And this is a phrasal verb, to butter someone up. To butter, noun, up. Um, I might say that my daughter is buttering me up. She is buttering me up. The feeling of this idiom is that the person is giving some sweet conversation. They are trying to make you feel extra happy, extra loved to get something. Especially, we might use this with children and parents. When the child is saying, Oh, mom, you are the best mama. You are the sweetest mama. You are the most beautiful mama. Can you buy me that new toy? She is buttering me up. He is buttering me up. We use this like a regular verb. So in the past, it would take ed. He buttered. He buttered me up. You can put any pronoun into this position, any noun into this position. Um, I was buttering the teacher up. Oh, you know that student. He always butters the teacher up. Our next idiom is this phrase, couch potato. Couch potato. And this is used to describe somebody who is lazy. Sitting on the couch, sitting on the sofa, too much television, too many snacks, not getting any work done. Sometimes on the weekend, I am a couch potato. What did you do last weekend? Nothing. I was a total couch potato. 
Oh, my husband is making me nuts. He is such a couch potato. Our last idiom in this video is to egg someone on. To egg someone on. And this is also a phrasal verb like butter someone up, to egg someone on. The meaning of egg someone on is to encourage somebody, to push somebody, to do something that is not correct behavior. Um, I might use this idiom to talk to my daughter and say, don't egg your sister on. When your sister is doing something wrong, please don't egg her on. Um, sometimes teenagers, we will see one teenager saying something impolite and behind his friends egging him on. They were egging him on. Why do we use the word egg together with this? I have no idea. So a quick review for us, these five idioms to do with food. Don't cry over spilled milk. To go bananas. To be bananas. To drive someone bananas or nuts. To butter someone up. A couch potato. To egg someone on. How are these idioms for you? I hope that at least one of them is new. Maybe two, maybe all five are new for you today. Let me know in the comments what you are thinking. Um, practice putting them into some sentences. As always, I will give you some feedback on your sentences if you leave those sentences in the comments under the video. Watch for the next food idiom video to come in a few days. All right, students, until next time, bye.